Today I'll be reviewing the SUS 3D monitor with NVIDIA 3D vision kit. There's a couple things you'll need. If you buy this kit and as long as if you have at least a GTX 250 or higher it'll work perfectly fine. NVIDIA says it will work with the 9 series but that's minimum requirements pretty much anything 200 and above you'll be good another thing is they will give you a dual link DVI here's a standard DVI cable this will not work at all with it it just doesn't supply uh, it won't they can't handle the data bandwidth that the cable needs here's the cable that they give you here's my 15 amp power able that comes with this computer here's a DVI cable that's connected to it it's a pretty thick cable I'll unhook it so you can see uh, here's my DVI here's a dual link DVI as you can see all there's all pins connected up now if you compare it to this cable there's a section of pins missing. The one on the bottom is a standard DVI cable, one on the top is a dual link. And as you can see it's pretty thick compared to the standard DVI cable. Okay. Now as far as setup, really easy, just plug it in. You'll get these glasses they charge via USB port and you'll get this little USB dongle infrared receiver that syncs it up with the, the frame rate so put the monitor so it's compatible so it'll work as I said earlier you'll need a 120 Hertz monitor how that works is when you play the game there will be two different images and each one of these lenses on these glasses are pretty much an LCD screen you can say and each one flickers on and off at 60 Hertz so only your left eye sees the image intended for the left eye and the right eye sees the image intended for the right eye and that tricks the brain into seeing a 3D image okay what else does it come with comes with glasses green wiping cloth with an NVIDIA logo in it. I don't know if you can see that. You get a pouch made of silk form. And wherever the drivers and manuals got to right here. And then you get a bag with your starter guide, manual, warranty card and all that. And they also give you two extra nose pieces if you don't like the pair that comes with the glasses. The glasses are designed to fit over prescription eyewear. They're pretty much goggles you can say. You know, I'll show you real quick. Me, I wear glasses and I can pop them right on over my glasses. They fit no problem over your glasses. Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like. You won't be able to see the 3D, but I'll show you what it looks like. I am going to be running the Crisis 2 demo. My system is a Core i7 with a GTX 480 and it runs excellent. It's an Alienware Area 51 ALX.
Now as far as turning the 3D on and off, it's real simple. You see the NVIDIA logo on the USB dongle, how it's light green. When you press it, you may be able to see it on. I gotta wait for the game to load up anyways. It won't do it until the game loads up. So we'll have to wait a second once it connects to the server. By the way, this Crisis 2 demo is an online game. Next time, we'll make sure they don't. That's great, I gotta wait for a new game to start. Sorry about that. By the way, this game, Crisis 2, was built for 3D. Also, when you, like I said, if the glasses, they run on battery power. While that's loading up, I'll show you this. You have the power light right there. USB connector for charging the battery. The battery is built into the side of the glasses right here. And that's about it for the glasses. They are a bit on the pricey side if you break a pair of these. You're looking at probably about $200 a pair. Yeah. Uh, overall, they're pretty comfortable. Like I said, they fit over most glasses. Pretty, they're decent size. Then there's an RI infrared receiver right on the front of the glasses right here. Here where my thumb is right there that receives it the only bad thing about these is you can't have anything obstructing the USB dongle right here because if you block the infrared signal it won't sync up the glasses and it won't work now this demo I am running it on max graphics wait for the game to start Now, to turn on the NVIDIA 3D Vision, press this. Okay. Now you see that the infrared lights are lighting up. And you'll see you get double vision. It's a little blurry. Now what you do is you take the glasses. As if you turn these on, you'll notice they will get dark. You might be able to see them flickering a little bit. Now if I put the lens up to this one. The image isn't blurry and that one it doesn't and wear them on your face and pretty much makes everything look 3d that's as far as setting it up turning it on also if you want information about how well the game runs with 3d you press Control alt insert and you'll get information and it'll tell you what you need to turn on and off to make it work overall I'm happy with the purchase it works excellent definitely recommend it if you're a big-time gamer